This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Previously on Acquisitions Incorporated. Finally home in Waterdeep after their adventure in the parallel realm of Ravnica, our heroes return to discover two years have passed here and much has changed. There are battle balloons patrolling the skies above the city. Is there livery on the balloons? Make a wisdom perception check to see if you can make it out from here. You can make out the Drawn Enterprises logo surmounting a tiny Ack Inc. logo. What? To regain their bearings and devise a plan to take over Drawn Enterprises Takeover, the party heads for Troll Skull Manor, home of Evelyn and Strix while Vi hides the plane-jumping Cosmo Hopper in a safe location. Oh, we're back! How long has it been? Has it been a while? It's been a while, right? <laughs> yeah, like, re- remember you were wondering because you worked for Acquisitions Incorporated and then suddenly you didn't hear anything from them for well, a couple years? I felt like I that, found was a, them. that wasn't a bad thing. I felt like maybe they had their things under control. They didn't need anything exploded. You know what I mean? Hello, ho- hello, Omen and Jim. Hello, and your and new friend. Hi. How are you? I just bomb it right in your yard. And I'm like, this isn't an illusion. <laughs> oh! After a fitful night's rest. <laughs> first thing in the morning, there is a loud knock on the front door. It's oh. Sir Omen here. How did you know that, though? I'm his new intern. An intern known as Little Team arrives, whom Omen agreed to employ as part of the bargain he made with Asmodeus. Strix's feelings about demons remain unchanged. He steps through the doorway and immediately screams out in pain. And Strix, because this is your forbidden spell, go ahead and roll the 5d10 for how much damage he takes. Are you a devil? Are you masquerading as a kid? They have to tell you if they're a devil. That's the Mm -hmm. law. Omen banishes little team but his fetching headwear stays outside to keep an eye on the proceedings. Bobby and Jim consume a cheesed pie of Strix's making, in which she used hallucinogenic leaves from the world tree to interrogate them about where they've been the past two years. This has some adverse effects. As Jim takes a bite, his eyes dilate like crazy. Strix, I know I hate you, but this is incredible. You are now convinced that you are a caterpillar. Bobby, you also have that tingle all over, and you are absolutely convinced that you and the sofa are one in the same being. Couch lock, I warned you about this. (laughs) How much does the sofa weigh? You want to try to make a strength check to haul it around? I would love to. Mm -hmm. Let's go. But at the worst possible moment, our heroes are peeped by Pip, a Drawn Enterprises HR representative robot. I am here to inform you, you will relinquish all company personnel and property for a thorough performance. If you do not comply within six seconds, you will be subject to an immediate performance improvement plan. Don't like that. Jim attempts to defuse the situation by removing the robot's power crystal. It starts to power down, and then a greenish gas Ah! begins to emit, causing an animating vapor to imbue six of Strix's pies and a sofa with a vicious form of unlife. During the melee, Omen is contacted by Asmodeus, who tells him the demonic powers of the Newsy Cap will become his if... He yields another 9% of his soul to their infernal contract. That'll take me to, what, 36%? It's not a controlling stake. And I grab the hat and just set it jaunty right up top. With everything to lose, an Acquisitions Incorporated asset suddenly joins the fray. Your infernal eye that is pointed upward toward the sky notices a mechanical beholder. So a mechanical beholder, do 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 I recognize its make? It is one of yours. But instead of assisting, it attacks Omen and the others. Oh no! Jim animates the craft and wills it to destroy the enemies, itself, and its unknown pilot. They tumble out onto the ground with a thud, and it is Omen. Oh no! The slaying of a masked Lord of Waterdeep is a crime punishable by death. Because of your crimes, we have no choice. Though we had hoped otherwise, to banish you to the great 
prison of Revel's End in Icewind Dale, where you will spend the rest of your lives. I think, what if I just put the mask on and then I did all the stuff he was going to do? No one would know. Now, with the adventuring company in shambles and hard time awaiting them, prepare to witness our heroes die of old age in jail because it would be illegal to do anything else. This is Acquisitions Incorporated. Welcome. Uh, it is my joy, my privilege, and frankly, my dream to welcome you to Acquisitions Incorporated. I am, of course, your new dad. I am Kate Welch. Tonight, I am your dungeon master, and it is, again, an absolute privilege and dream to introduce you to maybe the best table that Acquisitions Incorporated has ever seen. <laughs> Starting with our CEO, legal eagle, and master of the long con, Omendron. Love you. That's legally binding. <laughs> Dig through the trash ditches and burn through the trash whip it, whip, 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 and slam in the back of my Strix bee stinger. <laughs> The, the white zombie reference? Uh, Rob Zombie. Rob but Zombie. <laughs> you're close enough, you get partial credit. A coherent beam of Lathander's holy light, Evelyn Marthane. <laughs> and last and least, Emerging as though from a mist shroud, Kathristraub. Can I sit here? Yes, you please. May. Yes, you may. Thank you for asking. We begin in the frozen wastes of Icewind Dale, the dread prison known as Revel's End. The tome describes Revel's End thusly. <laughs> Revel's End is a panopticon. What? Pythris loves this. A prison configured in such a way that the activities of the prisoners can be closely monitored from a central location. Situated on the frigid, misty coast of the Sea of Moving Ice, the prison is a single-story structure topped with battlements. Would you like to see it? <gasps> I'll show it to you. I'm too scared. <laughs> I have to go carefully. Jump in Jesus. Oh, yeah. Until <gasps> Easy. Thank you, thank Easy you. Now. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. There are little, um, little battlements for me to put on here, so bear with me. Accessories. Hey, everybody <gasps> vamp. Yeah, uh, sold separately. Accessories are my favorite. <laughs> it's snow. There's a little... Robert? <gasps> no. No, yes, indeed. <laughs> how dare you. One more battlement. This one's pointing inward. We'll mm. see how today goes. <laughs> Rising from the core of the Panopticon is a tower that holds the prison's administrative offices and barracks. However, we're going to get started in the prison cells. Hmm. Omen, yes. Strix, and Evelyn, you find yourselves atop a cot 
completely prone and uh, unable to move. You are each in your own cells. There is light coming in from outside, the cold light of Icewind Dale. And your inability to move is noticeable by your brain. <laughs> Dungeon mastering. <laughs> you can perceive it. Yeah. I don't like my brain, is that? <clears throat> we can take care of that. You hear, all of you, can hear the faint cries coming down the hall of a, of a troop of people, and a, they, at first you can't make it out, but then you hear it. Blood, 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 what the? blood, blood, blood. Keep going. Blood. 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 I'm scared. All right. So uh, the group of people that are chanting enter first Omen's cell, then Strix's, then Evelyn's, and the process is the same. They, fly, they fling open the doors of your cell, and while you are paralyzed, they stick you with a needle. What? No, yeah. no, no, Ew. no, thank you. Yeah, it sucks. And then they draw blood. They draw, you can watch. Your eyeballs are able to move. You can see the blood being drawn from your veins. They are very excited. No, that belongs to Xander. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes out. But you say it all with your eyes. They don't appear to care. I say it inside myself. <laughs> the, um, once the blood draw is complete, they move from person to person. And each time they leave your cell, the door to your cell is left wide open. So, Omen, you watch with your eyeballs as the door is left open, Strix and Evelyn. Once the blood draws are complete, there is one lone figure that Evelyn, you can see, that makes a gesture, and all three of you are no longer paralyzed. The doors to your cells are open. I can see the figure? Yes. Can I run up to them? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, give me a, you're gonna need a dexterity saving throw to see. Saving? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a plus seven from me, so 15. Okay. You are able to stumble to your feet and like a baby giraffe, <laughs> make your way to the door. <laughs> And the figure stands and waits. I clutch their arm, and I look up at them and I say, why? <laughs> um, the, this figure is able to, because of aforementioned baby giraffe, gently shake you free and say, it's just business. And then they make their way down the hall. They don't seem altogether concerned about the three of you. Something else to know. You don't have your weapons, I'm sorry. What? It's Jeremy Crawford's fault. My staff? <sighs> no, not even your staff. They That's never let you have your staff. Uh, I fall out of my cot screaming. Sorry. <laughs> Great. Just screaming just I happened. run to you Strix this. Okay. if she's screaming. Yeah, you're able to do that. And I lie <laughs> on top of her crying. <laughs> I start crying. Yeah. <laughs> it that's, helps. Like, that's like a record time, zero to crying. Mm -hmm. We feel great about it. Yeah. This it's is what normal. We do. This is normal. This is the crying speed run. I'm, I'm, cry <laughs> I'm crying with happiness because I'm with my friend, and she's crying, I assume, in abject terror. Yes. Correct. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will. <laughs> no other actions. Reactions <laughs> going on. Right. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I will roll out of this uh, cot. Mm hmm. Uh, I have all of my, uh, everybody else doesn't have their equipment, but of course I have all my equipment. Um, you know? <laughs> my cool, like my hammer and stuff. I, I, love, right. I love you, but no. Okay. Mm. Nice try, excellent try, very sneaky. <laughs> Is it, do I have better equipment than I had? Is that what you mean? Oh. <laughs> have I gotten the aftermarket upgrades? Like the, the mace with the spoiler type oh, situation? You know what? In a way. Yeah. Because what you all are wearing is prison robe. Oh. oh. It looks the same as my normal robe. Right? It's, yeah, you're, you're indistinguishable. <laughs> okay, great. Gray sackcloth is yes, the new very, black. Gray yeah. sackcloth. And Omen, if you are in the business of inspecting yourself, you will also see emblazoned upon 
the Drawn Enterprises logo. God damn it. <laughs> I know. It sucks. I, I flip the logo on myself off, which <laughs> requires some dexterity. All right, give me, yeah, especially in your current situation. Go for it. Oh, Whoa. that's nice. 19 do anything for you? Yeah. He is skilled. I, I managed to twist my wrist in a very, in a, the optimal way. This unknowing <laughs> symbol it, really gets the picture. Yeah, it's not your shoulder. No, absolutely not. Uh, I will, I come out and I stand in the doorway of my cell and I say, I am also very sad. <laughs> I'm just as sad as everyone else here, but I have a different way of showing it. Is this deception? Yes. <laughs> Go for it. 16. Mm. You guys buy it. <laughs> uh, I also note that now Omen is seeing me in this completely unacceptable fashion. Uh, this outfit of the day is not gram worthy. <laughs> Can I uh, do something to alter my clothing to look like shabby chic? What would you like to try to do? Like a zhuzh situation? Yeah, I'm gonna zhuzh. I just wanna zhuzh. I wanna roll for zhuzh. Okay, but tell me, uh, is this, are you using any kind of, like, is this all just it's our melting it, tucking it in, or is there magic involved? Oh, it's, it's all physical. I mean, it, I okay, can help you. Okay, yeah, it's crafting, and Strix can <laughs> aid me. She's very good at it. I mean, oh, I yeah. can see you, like, clearly in distress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this so is not gonna work for you. It's not a dress. I can press the digitation, at least the dirt off. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> So, Strix, when you attempt to press the digitate, uh -huh. I have more bad news. Magic does <gasps> not work. That's unacceptable. Mm. Magic does mm. not work. But, but I scream and cry more. Just, it keeps going. But it, an analog zhuzhing? Yeah, this no is all about like required. nodding, ripping, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, top, off the shoulder, that kind of thing. Sure. Oh, you turn it into one of those t-shirts? Yeah, exactly. That's got all the ties on the back? Yeah. yeah. I, I do not perceive this change in any way. <laughs> I don't think anything has happened. <laughs> it's a festival shirt. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's for Wichella. <laughs> While the zhuzhing, which I, I love that this is the priority, makes total sense. <laughs> While the zhuzhing occurs. Mid zhuzh. Mid zhuzh. Omen, uh, you here, because you're not zhuzhing, um, you're judging the zhuzh. You are able to hear the wheels of a squeaky cart. You hear it being pushed toward you. Probably snacks. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. What else could? If that's one thing they have in prison. <laughs> if you say that out loud, I stop crying. <laughs> snacks? Yeah. I say, I say be, be still. Be of good cheer, my friends. The snack cart has arrived. <gasps> We both take one arm of Omen and we're like, we're looking safe. <laughs> and I just, I just, I call out into the, um, just into the empty room. I say, Jim, <laughs> snacks, snacks, Jim. You hear nothing, <gasps> except more squeaky snack cart, and the squeaking gets closer and closer and closer until a cart arrives, pushed by none other than Kathris Straub, <gasps> also in prison garb. Oh no. <laughs> It started out good, and then it, it, it got worse. Is Jim dead? Now, what's in my cart? Did you kill Jim? No, I didn't kill him. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> so, I sleep magic sometimes, yeah. yeah. It's in fireballs. Hi, Kathris. Hi, Kathris. <laughs> what is not, it? Not here. <laughs> I'm working. Wait, why do you work here? In Kathris's cart? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> it That's hasn't weird. been explained to me. That's so, okay, yeah. All will be revealed. In Kathrissa's cart is none other than snacks. Just kidding. Aww. It's books. Aww. I like books. Which snacks are the mind. A certain creature w might perceive this as a snack, yes. But you have, uh, you have now found Kathrissa Straub, who appears to be manning the library cart here in Rebel's End. Oh, hello, friends. Thanks. When did you arrive? Thanks for bringing us books in this prison where we are hungry and scared. <laughs> I have all kinds of subjects. <laughs> well, which would you recommend? What for this, our hour of need. Yeah, are these like prison safe subjects? Like, like knitting without sharp needles? 
or you know yeah. things like that. Yeah, what, 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 what fair is there to offer? Maybe escape tactics? Yeah, I start shuffling through them. Just this, there are no escape tactics available. <laughs> Darn. I love that Ding book. dong. Prison break. <laughs> yeah. Um, break two. Digging. Anyone can do it. Lock picking. Home excavation. <laughs> or get your degree. <laughs> Kathris, the books that are on this cart were handpicked by you. Oh, so no. whatever garbage bullshit you would put. <laughs> wow. Whatever esoteric horse shit. Do you want to know how to escape? Yes. Huh? Into your own mind. <laughs> Everything you need is in there. Arguably, Kathris, and I don't, I don't disagree. And then when this conversation is done, I would like to talk about the moonlighting clause in your contract. Um, arguably, my mind got us into this to begin with. And so I don't think any good long-term answers may be found within. Then I offer you this book, Avoiding Your Own Thoughts. Ah, yes, thank you. <laughs> Well, in my mind, and in my heart, and in my soul, is Lathander. And if anyone can get us out of this, it's him. Do you have Lathander books? Uh, try your magic. Just try and give I'll him a little... I'll try divine give magic? Him, yeah, give him a little, a little, uh, a little shout. All right, I will try uh, divine sense to see if I detect any evil around us, any fey, fiend, undead, anything like that. Doesn't work. Lathander has seen fit to... <laughs> I like it. it still worked, but it, I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> to teach us patience and our own abilities. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. uh, your magic doesn't work either. I doubt it. I haven't tried it yet, <laughs> but I doubt it. I took it on faith that it doesn't work. Yep. No one's works. I didn't even bother to well, try. Just give it a try. Yeah, don't challenge his faith. That is his alone. Eldritch smiley face, whatever you want. Well, do I have that? <laughs> I haven't looked at my sheet in a while. Yeah, you've got that spell. <laughs> so here, I'll, I'll just try dancing lights. Yeah. Because it's good to read by. Or is it? It doesn't work. Yeah, see? Our new dad's mean. <laughs> Call CPS. Discipline daddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, none of those books have any digging or magic or how to fix magic. What is this? A negative space? There's a name for it, I don't remember. I don't actually know the particular wards that this prison holds, but uh, they're very good. <laughs> they're real sturdy. All right, well, uh, who wants to start hitting the walls? Oh, I love hitting walls. Yeah. Well, we all only have our fists, so. That's all right. Ready. I fist, I just. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the patience. I said it. That was the first one. Mm -hmm. Yep. I did a lot that. of lot of fans <laughs> yep. out there. Yep. Uh, sure are. Wholesome character. This one. <laughs> I, oh, I have the perfect book for you. <laughs> the thickest one, because it will shield your fists. <sighs> yeah, so uh, uh, this is all very interesting, uh -huh. but. <laughs> I mean, am I to understand that there is not simply another uh, cell here with an open door and a sleeping gym? I, I don't think you've, tr you've looked. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, while, while they're engaging in... Um, <laughs> Reading. ...acts, uh, I'm going to go, uh, and, and it, it sounds like, it seems like it's fine. It's just business. That's what I heard. Yeah. And so... Uh, I am going to go on a base, a cell by cell uh, sweep. Gym, yeah. gym sweep. A gym sweep? Um, no roll required. <laughs> gym ain't here. Gym ain't here. Hmm. Mm. Do I have my boots? Yeah. Cool. You don't want to give her those. Yeah, maybe, you know. <laughs> those are a weapon. She needs those. I think you all have your shoes. Okay. Oh. They're not animals here. <laughs> But any, anything to do with magic shoes is not going to work. Okay. So the magic doesn't work, so they don't no. fly. No. Mm. But while, while you are penetrating. <laughs> <laughs> so it's working. Yeah. So yeah, it's it. getting somewhere. It. Okay. 
I'm punching through that wall. You, while, while you are, you, you uh, are punching through a wall or attempting to that has a window. And something that you are able to notice, Evelyn, is that when you look outside the prison of Revel's End, Behold. the entirety of the prison is enclosed in a dome of green flame. <gasps> <laughs> um, so this is just some information for you. Enjoy it. Hmm. That was cool information. Yeah. yeah. It was, uh, was fan service. I'm writing it down. He's not writing it down. I was drawing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true. He's drawing flames and wrote green flame mm -hmm. as an explanation. <laughs> I did it. I did that one. It's powerful. <laughs> it's powerful. It feels good. It, it, it does. Do you Thank show you. me the what's outside? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're standing over my shoulder, I'm assuming, while I'm just like... In yeah. a supervisory I'm, position. I'm it's like a Tybo yes. thing. Yeah. Like, yes, like excellent. I think it's breaking. Thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why did I say yes? Look. <laughs> Look. I'm very strong. Yeah. Can I Arcana check this? This dome? Can yeah. I like, yeah, yeah, okay. please do. I would like to I gaze at the dome. Yeah. Oh. Well, mm. I have a lot. It's okay. I, I actually do have a lot. Uh, 14. Okay. Jesus. It, uh, it's, a lot. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty obvious to you that this is some kind of uh, very specific brand of almost anti-magic shell. Mm -hmm. And in particular, the patterns that you recognize seem to do with the act of teleportation. Mm. I don't like that. We might have been taken somewhere else. You can stop doing that. It's not going to work. Okay. <laughs> well... Considering that this seems like a job for more than one of us, I think we should... All punch the same place. <laughs> I do like that idea. Wait, did you find Jim? No. I was thinking... <laughs> I think I might have made him up. <laughs> I didn't make him up. I think it's like a fight club thing. No, he was real. Really? Yeah. You no. were part of a fight club? Can I join? <sighs> no. No, I'm not a part of a fight club. Oh. I already fucked up. God. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to get in. <laughs> Shit. It's a bad attitude. I'm going to revoke my membership to the fight club I'm not in. I think we should rally our community. And I go looking around at other cells with the intent to use my charisma to engage with them and have them join our cause of a breakout. Incredible. Incredible. I'm just going to walk with you. And I'm like, should we all go? Let's just go together. Let's just walk down the hallway. What kind of a free-range prison is this? Yeah, it's a little weird. They just let it's, you come out? They took my blood. I'm pretty sure they can just... Yeah, they take your blood? Yeah, they took all our blood, I think. Right? Yeah, Kathris, they've been, Kathris, they've been taking your blood. Oh, they absolutely took my blood. <laughs> I didn't Rocks. like that. I would like to get that back if we can. It's my property. Your property? Not your, no. Oh. No. Okay. My blood. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know what they do with it, but I think that they'll give it back to us when the sentence is ended. But my assumption. Part of your belongings. I think that's a, so we're just, they're going to get out, they're going to give us a big bag of our stuff. And then a lot of blood, just like on, from, a, from a bucket? Yeah. I don't know what kind of container they put it in, but I assume it's, uh, you know, watertight. Is and this we, based on anything? We no. drink it to put it back. <laughs> That's that, how that works. That's how it works, I yeah. think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, I've been doing that wrong. If you're... Listen, if you're missing it, you can try some of my prison blood that I've been mixing up. <laughs> Is, is it, it strong? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. It's the good stuff. What's it, Kathris, what's it made of? You'll find out. <laughs> I, I'm not there yet, but I, I suspect I'll be there soon. Um, I, and I would like to be first on the reservation list you for are. the prison blood. Thank you. Okay. Omen, oh, may I ask, um, you are interested in finding Jim Dark Magic, yes? That's my primary goal. Okay. I, have, I have two missions. Yes. And if, if it requires that I bust out of the prison first to find Jim, then that's the order. Great. But it would be really nice to have a, a wizard. Right. Well, yeah. uh, hmm. A real wizard. <gasps> <laughs> Fine. That's fair. I no, no. No, I will you, remember that. You deserve to have an employer that understands your skills. As I much as I love, I, as much as I respect you, <laughs> Omen, uh, I just think that you deserve more than that. Thank you. Also, Kathris is not a wizard either. You've disrespected him as well. He's not! <laughs> well, look at that cloak! 
Well, technically, I'm a warlock. It's not a wizard. They both start with W, is that? It's true. <laughs> is but that not how it works? Even if I was a wizard, I don't have any magic right now. Yeah, mm. neither do I, so. See, like I said. What? <laughs> like I said. And it's just Jim Dark magic. That's the only one you're interested in finding. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the, that's a, it's a big part of my, my thing. Where's anybody? Bobby? There, there it is. <laughs> Yes. And where's my... I miss Bobby, my friend. Bobby is also real. Where's my Mintacoin machine? I had a pet. Oh, yeah, where's your Mintacoin? It's here. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> We're rich again. <laughs> um, yeah, Bobby's also missing. I just wanted to establish that you, you don't give a shit, Omen. Um. <laughs> this is like a little character note. Yeah. He's very large. He can take care of himself. Also, he is a servant of Lothander, so... That's what I heard. Our morning lord will watch after him. Yep, he's great. So, Evelyn, you are leading sort of a Wizard of Oz linked <laughs> arm da -da. Da -da. down the hallway to pick up each cell. You look in a cell, and there's nothing in there. You look in another cell, there's nothing in there. Hello? This goes on for some time. You eventually do get to a cell which contains life. And you see two small halfling women sitting at a table, playing what looks to be a game of dragon chess. The pieces are made out of toilet paper mache, you know, prison stuff. Hardcore. <laughs> yeah. Very hardcore. Ooh, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I'm there. You're I feel it. transported, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and the, the, the woman facing towards you is a face that is known to you. It is Rosie B. Stinger. <gasps> what the? Oh, it's my grandma. Fix your grandma's here. Hi, grandma. We're in jail. <laughs> Rosie turns and looks at the four of you. I assume you're all sort of peeking in. I think um, I ran to Rosie as soon as okay. I saw her. I'm waving. With a, with a gesture, she, she dismisses the other halfling woman who lowers her face and runs out of the room at top speed. Mm. Weird. Oh, I was just going to say, back in the business, huh, Rosie? <laughs> Rosie doesn't respond to that. Uh-oh. Rosie does pull out a prison shiv. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely back in the business, it looks like. Every one of you on your knees. Okay. What? <laughs> We're not rolling for initiative. Okay, I mean, I'm just... Put I'm that just, dice down a minifus. I'm just... I'm just making sure it's with the other ones. I need to charge it to make sure it gets a 20. There we go. Grandmother. Take your time. Have yeah. we had this interaction already, or is this brand new? This is, this. this is brand new. Okay. Yeah. But then I, I would say, for what reason? Just kneel. Okay. <laughs> is it so we can be the same height? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Strix, no. <laughs> We're Strix. the same No. Strix. Strix B Stinger, on your knees. Knees? Knees. On my knees. On my knees. Knees? Okay. This, is, this Rosie is lean, hard, maybe like a prison tattoo. I don't know. It's just scary stuff. What, 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 what tattoo? It's important. It's, um, it's a little bee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Perfect. terrifying. But it's an angry bee. And, mm, <laughs> oh, mad bees. eyebrows. Shit. And once, once you're all in a line on your knees, the prison shiv oh. is put away. And indeed, it is so that Rosie can look you in the eyes because she is very small. And one by one, she takes your face. Yep. Yep, that's, that's the, the one. one. Amenophis. Mm -hmm. Evelyn. Oh, yeah. That's the original. Cathris. Oh, no. Okay. Great. Whew. And as soon as she's done with that, her features melt back into that benevolent, grandmotherly warmth that we've all come to know and love. And she says, okay, all right, great. Um, wonderful, so glad you're here. Sorry that you are in prison, um, but it's all gonna work out. This is, this is fine. Oh, that's great news, it's all gonna work out. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but, but I, I want to emphasize, there's, there's, the only reason it doesn't provide me the same level of comfort that it does you is that the person telling us this is also in prison. Mm -hmm. So that's, I, I want to have this level of, of, uh, of energy. I'd love to see it. I'd like to see it increase. But 
she's also in fucking jail. <laughs> so, so Rosie, I, I have to, if you are in jail, I have to assume it's because you want to be for some reason? Of course. But you know, this isn't my first rodeo. Absolutely not. I've Do been they have rodeos in and out. here? There, was a, there can be. Depends on how this goes. There, this, this is far from my first stint, even in this prison. So I kind of got this figured out. And don't worry, I got a contact on the outside. You're not going to be here long. It's not going to be like the animation that said you're going to die of old age in here. Don't worry about it. So um, what, what Rosie is, uh, is aware of and that what she conveys to you is that um, obviously you are imprisoned for life, having murdered Omen, um, which the implication is, you know, multiple omens, um, and uh, and that the indeed the green dome, the green flame, out green flame! Uh, that surrounds the prison is in fact blocking teleportation. So she's able to confirm a few things right off the bat. Um, but her eyes keep flicking around like, mm. she's, uh, like she's nervous about the time. Um, and Kathris, you and you have been here for a while. Um, I, I think you've, you've been here up to and including two years. Yeah. Um, but the, my understanding. Yeah, yeah. I think at this, I would say, Oh, none of you want to be here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, historically, uh, they are not uh, leisure centers. Depends on what you get up to. Oh, are there fun activities here? I have them on my cart. <laughs> <laughs> so, just reading? This library is like none other, because it doesn't have very good books like other libraries. <laughs> but you can't find them elsewhere, so. <laughs> anyway, proceed. Uh, <laughs> just, just as an aside, it like, doesn't have to be right now. Yes. We're, I know we're really busy. Absolutely. Um, but if at any point mm. we have a second, maybe yes. you could explain to us why there was another one of you? I would also like yeah, to. Omen, do you want to explain <laughs> why there is another one of you out there? I'm sure there's a great explanation. I'm sensing I'm tension. I'm sure there is. They say. <laughs> they who? Uh, them. Oh. They, um, it could have, it might have been like a costume thing. <laughs> it, was a, it was pretty no. good costume. Well, no, I mean, you, they're very good now. Oh. We're, we were put into prison for killing. It's not a costume when you, unless it's a prison, you know, costume, kill it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, that makes sense. I mean, if you don't know, then. Yeah. <laughs> she, she seems mad at She's you. She's often mad, I would say. That's not true. <laughs> but I am mad right now. At who? <laughs> <laughs> at not me. whom, Amenophis? <laughs> I would love to explain why there was more than one omen. Oh, but I think that the most relevant fact is that whatever caused there to be multiple omens has become a really fucking big problem here mm. at Revel's End. Mm. Oh. Y'all notice the, the Drawn Enterprises logo? Mm. I, yeah, and I resent it. Great. It's your fault. It's been two years since, you know, y'all went on your little adventure wherever it was. Still don't know, by the way. I will Trying to get letters to you. I will show you the pictures. It was a mwah. Oh, a slideshow. Yeah, absolutely. Great. It was crazy. I got you something. I lost it, though. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Whatever... Whatever it was that caused there to be multiple omens in the world, let's just say, hypothetically. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy what you're saying. Let's, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Go Wait, with me. A little yeah, thought it's, exercise. It's nuts. Let's just say that that technology was discovered by, I don't know, Portentia, Drawn. Okay. Let's just say... I have a sister. I have a couple sisters. Oh. One of them is very cool. You would like her a lot. The other one is... 
Knife? I've, ta I've taught myself not to say the word. Oh. That's good. Hmm. It took a long time. This is that one. <laughs> so let's just say Portenta Drone was able to, in your absence, get a hold of that technology. Industrialize it. Industrialize it, exactly. What a great word, Omen. Oh. What a great word. Industrialize it on such a level that an entire prison facility could be used as a secret, evil lair where they clone all of their enemies to do their bidding. Let's just say hypothetically. That's a horrible hypothetical situation. I'm so glad it's only make-believe. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we, can, we can take comfort from the fact that this exists in a purely theoretical realm. You have such a great imagination, Rosie. I love fiction. I always tell her this, too. It's incredible. I love your guys' relationship. All right, what's really going on here? <laughs> what's the real story? Kathris, maybe your question is rhetorical because you already know all of this, actually. <laughs> um, you are aware that the blood draws uh, are a regular occurrence with all of the prisoners. Um, and that, uh, yeah, there, there is a, I, I don't want to call it like a library of blood. But that's what it is. Don't you? Don't you want to call it that? Yeah. Mm. So okay. I still say that, but I correct myself and say, I mean, what else is going on here? <laughs> Obviously, we're keeping the blood that they use. But what's new with you? <laughs> Thank you for checking in. <laughs> it's been a hard few years. Um, yeah, I, 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 this, this is what is going on here now. You could have called in before you called out. You know what I mean? You could have brought this to me as a side conversation, you know, we, this is something we could have had this conversation maybe in another part of the jail that we're in because of, I see now that this is bad. Yeah. I, I see now that I, I, I see now that I, what I said was wrong. <laughs> and I see now that talking anymore will not help. And I am adopting, as you can tell, a face of contrition. Um, Look at this. Look at this one right now. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm deeply convinced. Yeah, you that's this not... This is a new leaf. This is, this is, this is a new year, new me. I mean... What a, what a pious man. Can I insight check <laughs> if he practiced that? Yeah, <laughs> he practiced that. <clears throat> oh, I don't have a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. <laughs> No, yeah, it's, a, it's okay, six. because you're not paying attention because Rosie has warmly come over to you and gripped you by the elbows and said, granddaughter, you've never looked dirtier. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Where's your staff? Oh, I would like it back. Of course. Where, I don't know, where do they keep the stuff? Let's go get our stuff. Where's yeah. that stuff? Let's go to their staff Also, storage. why did they take our blood? Oh, I thought I made that pretty clear. Oh, they're clones of us? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's clones. Not a um, lot, though, probably. Uh, I don't want to hear another word out. <laughs> there's a lot. I feel a like lot. there's a lot. Wait, but uh, what does that mean for our souls? Oh, boy, let's just... <laughs> this is you. Just tell her something nice. Does Lathander I... love both our souls the same way? No, no Lathander loves you the most. Yeah. Oh, but I wouldn't be so... Do you think so, really? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, okay. every time, well, yes. My, I mean, I am no philosopher, but... My understanding is that the other souls, uh, there's a special farm. No, this isn't helping. Near Tribor, where the souls can run and run. <laughs> this is not helping. Why do souls want to run? They just, they... Um, Born to. They, yes, thank you. They can't get enough. No. They have no. so much, no, energy? No. Um, sure. I don't know. And, um, and then they, they sleep. And they, when they dream, they dream about a cookie, a big cookie. <laughs> and they can eat the cookie all they want, and there's still more cookie. Wow. So that's, what, that's, that's how it works with souls. Anyway. Um, yeah. So we got to find staff storage, and then yeah. that's it, probably. Yeah. 
Um, well, the armory is just down this hallway. You take a right, you can't miss it. It's, um, it's usually guarded, uh, but it seems like maybe y'all aren't going to be super useful otherwise. Why? That, that's uh, I can bite point. people. I can punch. I have ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the strongest of all. <laughs> the most powerful weapons. <sighs> so, Rosie, do you know who came by and snapped our, our doors open? Is this a, oh, yeah. a common occurrence? Oh yeah, the blood gang. I saw that person. What did they look like? Uh, oh, the one that unlocked and yeah, that I yes. like clung to as a baby giraffe. And they were like, it's all business or yeah. it's just business or right. some kind of business thing, which I would like, I zoned in on that like right away. It's a catchphrase. Right. It is kind of a catchphrase. I think um, there's a different one with each blood gang, but the, the special element of that person is that they are able to actually use magic. Mm -hmm. Oh. And the reason they are able to use magic is because they have a wristband. Now, I'm wearing a wristband, Rosie's not, but she gestures to where her wristband should be. Everybody's vaccinated. We're happy about that. <laughs> it's a, so it's absolutely a, a mystical elixir. So if I could get a wristband, I could use magic. So it's a festival situation. Yeah. Witchella again. Chella. Yeah. Yeah. I've always wanted to go. Yeah. I, I mean, if you, can get, if you can get a wristband, <laughs> you're welcome to use all the magic you want. All right, I would like one of those. Oh, yeah. I gestured to the wristband that I made, and I said, you can't just make it, it doesn't work. <laughs> it looks nice, though. Is it? It almost looks the same as theirs. Can we enter a radio contest? Is there a, a drawing? I need, you know what? I need to have a word with you in private. <laughs> this is what I said before. Yeah. Um, and uh, Rosie takes Omen aside. Am I, not, am I not helping Rosie? Is that, is that what this conversation is about? It's not about that, but you aren't helping. Oh, okay. What I want to talk to you about is... Drugs. You want to rap with me about drugs? You want to know how things are going at school? <laughs> Listen, they're my friends. I'm sorry. I, uh, I, I see now that that was not welcome, and I... Um, uh, contrition again. It's, it's, it's back. It's working. And yeah, all right. Uh, why don't you talk uninterrupted? And I will listen, and I won't even move. I want to talk to you about your daughter. Ooh. Uh -oh. Why? Well, as far as drawn family members go, she is the only useful one. I'll give you that. Good job with her. Um, but... Uh, I've learned some things about your parenting method. And I gotta say, I got some criticisms. And that's rich coming from me. I was gonna say, but then I decided that I shouldn't. It's wise. Yeah. You let me dunk on myself. Yeah, I, I go for the auto dunk and I just sit back. <laughs> is, is she up here? No. Good. Yeah. You have me to thank for that. I kept her out of here. Why do you think I'm here? Hmm. You think she was going to let you get arrested and thrown in jail for the rest of your life? It was, it was madness trying to keep her away from this place. Did you really? And I drop my voice. Rosie drops her voice even further. Did you really clone yourself so that one of you could be the dad that you couldn't be? There are things about me that you don't and can't understand. True. And if you think that even for a second you're in a position to give me parenting advice, neither of us is getting off this floor. I'm not giving advice. I'm asking some clarifying questions, and I just want you to know that I know. I scoot even farther with you away from them. <coughs> I, I need your card. 
my cart. Is that fine? Well, we got a lot of books to give away today. Well, I have a schedule to maintain. We're going to get to it. I bring the cart back and I push it out. Now we're in the corner. It is in front of us. You and I are sitting in the corner behind the cart. I hunch over unnecessarily. Yeah. I'm I like say, still watching. Yeah, we're yeah. all yeah. standing there watching from the other side of the I room. can't wait to see what plan they cook up. <laughs> we're almost home. <laughs> so great when they work together like this. I'm like already just like planning like, well, if we die here, at least it won't be too long. <laughs> Rosie, first of all, welcome to my office. Second of all, you need to understand a couple things. And I, I think that you will understand them once I've explained them. Go for it. I have nothing to do with this facility. I'm not connected with it in any way. I have literally not been on this plane for years. Ah. You have to understand a couple things. There are six clones of me. They are like brothers. I am the last of those clones. Do you understand? Yes. According to the contract we signed with each other, I get all the shit jobs. <laughs> and that includes all the field work. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. They vacation. I go out and do it all. One of the things that they couldn't be bothered to do was raise certainty. Do you understand? Yes. Never, never assume that she is not the most important thing to me. Never assume it. Good. Rosie, Rosie is completely mollified by this, gives you an affectionate pat on the cheek and said, says, I. That's exactly what I was hoping you would say. If you don't like the rest of me, I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. Meeting adjourned. I get up behind the cart and then squeak it back out. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Y'all heard all of that. <laughs> Did we really? It's a tiny room. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Evelyn is then standing like this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you move to push the cart back, but we're just over the cart. <laughs> no, no, no. I stand up to push it, and, it's and it can't move. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laying next to it, just waiting to die. Not Evelyn long is now. stunned. Um, so the, the uh, a meeting being adjourned, Rosie turns to you and says, right. We have some things to accomplish. I am in the midst of something. Um, I am currently, very exciting stuff, working out the sigils mm, nice. that will bring down this shield of green flame. I love it. I love a good sigil. I mean, that's, everybody says that. I can help with that. Yeah, I know. I can raise my hand. That's why I'm very excited you're here, sweetheart. Yay, Grandma. Um, <laughs> but I haven't quite figured it out yet. Now, Omen has, as though you didn't hear any of the previous conversation, Omen has a daughter <gasps> wow, named Certainty, who is my contact on the outside. <sighs> you named her Certainty? It's complicated. All right. Why didn't you name her Complicated? Because you can never get novelty stationery that says complicated. That's fair. You those little license plates? Yeah. Too many letters. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she's my contact on the outside. We're working this through. Um, she's doing research on her end. I have been able to communicate with her through a documenter book, which is our usual mode of communication. Yes. That book, however, is currently the, well, the, the only thing if, and I'm not saying you do, but if you did want to contact Certainty, the problem with the book is that it is in the possession of my Documancer. Now, that seems like it would be fine, but the problem is this Documancer is a clone 
that is only ever in wolf form, and she's kind of feral. She trusts me, but I don't know if y'all are gonna have luck with her. Um, but I can, she's in the stables. You're welcome to go speak to her. Does she have lycanthropy? Not exactly. I feel like this is sadder than you want to hear. <laughs> I mean, I had lycanthropy for a little while. They wouldn't let me keep it, but yeah. Well, they have creams now. It's curse cream. <laughs> it's over the counter. <laughs> yeah. You don't even need a prescription anymore. Yeah, your insurance covers it. Yeah. Everything. Not their insurance plan. <laughs> Um, if you want to talk to her, then, you know, the stables are uh, just past the armory, and then if you head outside, you'll be able to get there. Um, but I actually have some things I need to do, so For sure. I would love to give you all any answer, any other questions you might have. Otherwise, I think you should probably get your weapons. Evelyn, sweetie, yes. So, you're working with Certainty to get us out of here, and you think we should contact Certainty, who is Omen's daughter. Yes. Why? Why? What do we need to tell her? Oh, just... We need, I, to, we need to tell her that, you know, Dad's fine, and uh, he's doing great. He does need some things on the inside. Oh. I mean, maybe you don't have anything to tell her, but I just thought maybe... You know. I mean, I'd love to meet her, of course. I mean, I'm sure we would get along fine. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Um, Maybe. Well, yeah, you'd, yeah. I just, I assume, <laughs> may, uh, call me crazy. I just assumed that uh, not having seen or spoken to his daughter for two years, that he'd want to go talk to her, but that's, I mean, it's completely up to you. Absolutely an optional <laughs> path. Side quest. Absolutely, yes. Um, certainly, I feel like y'all are going to want to get your weapons. Certainty. So. Certainty, yeah. I would. I would like my staff, please. Um, so uh, Rosie is able to point you, get you out of the cells, point you down the, the hallway to the right where you will find the armory. And uh, when she says this, she's like, be on the lookout, though. There's a, there's a guard patrol. So, you know. Paw patrol. You got you to wait for the timing. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a stealth session. Stealth. Yeah. Oh, we're not good at that. <laughs> we can try real hard, though. Mm-hmm. You can, yeah. <laughs> what kind of a what kind of a, a, a terms am I on with the people who work here? Could I use some of my wiles as a librarian <laughs> to deceive? I, librarians have historically been, you know, mm -hmm. very sexy, wily. Yeah, you can. You now have librarian stats to pull upon. <laughs> Yeah, um, what's, the, what's that based on? We'll adjudicate that as it happens. But you, you are, I think, affectionately tolerated by the guards here. This is all I ask. <laughs> That's why I don't want to leave. <laughs> Same. <laughs> well, if you know them, maybe you could just walk up to them and ask if we could have our weapons back. I would, but I feel like it's not in the spirit of the prison. <laughs> They may be willing to try something on because it's been a while and I'm sure they are set in their ways, but they're kind of past the experimentation phase mm. of incarceration. Mm. They just <laughs> like to keep everyone here. I see. What do you think they would be into? Uh, us doing what we're supposed to do forever and, and including giving uh, them our blood. Ugh. If we traded them more blood, do you think they would give us... Uh, our weapons? Like all of our blood, yes. No, not all of it. I think that we could be buried with our weapons. Well, and yeah. escape. Oh, insofar as we would be buried outside? Probably inside, but we'd have the weapons. I, I feel, I feel like there's a the problem. Mortal coil. I feel like there's a problem with this plan. I'll, I'll leave you to figure out what it might be. I already bit myself and I'm bleeding. <laughs> You start by you start over here chewing on your no, arm. I'm bleeding. I'm also really hungry. That's like the equivalent of a hunger strike. It's like, you can't have my blood. Yeah, <laughs> it's leaking. I'm, I'm leaking. Don't take it. Don't leak uh, all your blood this time, Strix. Just a little, okay? All right. Yeah, what is the guard posting situation? It seems like we've been able to just kind of wander about. Yeah, up yeah. here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, in the cell block where you find yourself, you don't have too much to worry about. But it's once you get out into the greater 
revels end uh, area that you're going to start to see guards who are keeping you out of very key and important <gasps> rooms. I start taking my blood and writing, there's ghosts here <laughs> on the wall. There's oh. ghosts. Haunted. Stay back. Ooh. <laughs> can I? Don't can, dead. Open inside. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's haunted now. They're going to be scared. Nice. I will try to add to this facade and make scary noises. Oh, yeah. Ooh. What, is, what is the goal? <laughs> I would say if the guards walk by, they're going to see my blood graffiti mm -hmm. and be like, well, that's messed up. Yeah, this is, this is fucked up. Yeah. And we have also, I mean, at this point, quit. we're, we're doing working. a lot of weird stuff. It's true. So maybe just some simple distraction. Maybe just taking some, some perception away so that someone else in our party might be able to be aided in slipping by. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm on board with We're bleeding. really good at being distractingly weird. Okay. Uh, uh, Great. What, where's the library relative to this? So is there something that I have to pass through in order to uh, refill the cart? Yeah. Um, the library is sort of um, here. <laughs> Uh, no, it's, uh, you, you're in the cell block, which is the very center of the Panopticon, and so the key rooms that are, that are going to be of interest to you are on the outer edge of Revel, Revel's End. Um, and so if you are, let's say, on the inside bottom floor here, you, then you need to cross over here to get to the <laughs> Blood Library. Do it's not break. Wheel. It's on wheels. Is it on wheels? It's yeah. on wheels, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, so it's Ooh, over there. And critical question, what is the Panopticon scenario? Like oh we, my God. Can we see the, the eyes looking at us? Or we, know that we just don't know. We uh, just don't know, and that's the beauty of it. Chris, fucking, you know what? I barely know what Panopticon means. <laughs> what the heck? That's a critical <laughs> function. Penultimate? Okay. Is it penultimate? Or no. Okay, so here's. <laughs> it's not the Opticon, it's the one just before. Yeah. Okay, it's the, but right before you see, before you see it, it's the Panoptic. <laughs> it's like the angriest. It's the convention <laughs> before you see it. Panopticon. Exactly. When I find out that nobody cares about the Panopticon <laughs> aspect, the whole reason why this is the premier prison to be in, <laughs> well, well, it's wasted on you. I... Go to some other prison. <laughs> Ooh. This is an incredible prison. I got to tell you, they, when they say Revel's End, they mean it. <laughs> At other prisons, you can have a little bit of Revel. Not right here. <laughs> Not this one. It starts, it's over immediately. Then you know it. You can this, feel it's working. The, the Panopticon in the very middle of this, this center is a, it's a surveillance hub. Right. So each, each of the, um, I don't know, is it, what, six? Looks sure. like it. Six sides of it, um, inside this middle area, is um, it, there are guards stationed within, and this is how they keep an eye on everybody in the cell blocks, and that's right. why they don't necessarily really care if you come and go within this area. Mm -hmm. oh, because they know. Yeah. So they're watching all this like a reality program. Yeah. <laughs> They've already chosen favorite characters. Mm -hmm. As have I. Uh-oh. <laughs> Rut row. <laughs> If I, so there's only one uh, focus of the Panopticon. I can move the cart back out. Maybe there's a, a way to sneak behind the door, spirit someone within the cart. Yes, this is the key. I feel like the cart, the fact that we have this cart at all is going to be the key that unlocks this. Right? I am very small. I could go in the cart. Perfect. I also already look like rags. We, we could put her in and then just put her on her yeah. in the cart. On top, just yeah. a mound. Would they be... Laundry. Well, now, what do I, would I... If we find somebody, say, dead in a cell, is it part of my job to cart them out as a courtesy? My God. I've been under Listen. dead bodies before. There you yeah. go. I have a lot of experience with dead bodies. I'm not saying actually kill someone, but we can. I'm just saying someone can pretend to be dead. Because if we m kill somebody, then I gotta carry multiple people on that car. I'm already bleeding, so I can't pretend to be dead, really. Well, you're the closest, though, of yeah. anyone. I guess that's true. If you put me near the bottom, I can, like, make the blood leak out of it. It's believable. Yeah, that'd be pretty gross. I like it. This is disgusting. <laughs> I'll allow it. But it, it just it. might work. Yeah, I'm gonna allow it. Um, yeah, this is one of those fucked up places where the librarian also carts the dead bodies around. <laughs> Makes total sense. It's quite, yeah, I mean, it's, it, you don't see that in the finer prisons, yeah. obviously. Yeah, they just leave it there. You, you, you wear a lot of hats, you know what I mean? 
So I know start up prison a bit more just like to get it going. Yeah, do it. That's it. There. Do I take like any damage for this or is it just gross? Oh yeah, you didn't take all kinds of damage. <laughs> <laughs> you had no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Four points. Oh okay. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Asking to take killer. damage. What is this table? Yeah. I just want Dad to like me. <laughs> Do you like me now? <laughs> All right. Okay. Get this horse shit on the road. I'm gonna stack. So where wherever Rosie is, well, Rosie's it, gone. Oh, it doesn't right. matter. So like, I'm gonna conceal some of these books. Get some of this garbage. My least favorite, I may add. Which ones are your least favorite? Uh, anything about like. You know, coming to peace with being in prison, like you can have a fulfilling life here and it's good. It's good that you're here. And no, I don't care about that at all. <laughs> I, I, I keep books on there that are like, we wear our prison. <laughs> like this one outside doesn't matter because we're all in jail, right? Yeah. I think we agree. The seven highly Flesh effective. Flesh is the prison. Yeah, yeah that one might prison. not even make it back on the card. <laughs> I think that's in myself permanently. <laughs> permanent loan. Uh, Excellent. Yeah, no, I stack them. So you just chucking these books? I'm stacking them neatly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great, thank you. I've been here for like two years. Got I respect, got respect for the place. Got it. Okay. No, you're stacking them up like according to the numerical system. Yeah. yeah you're just a, making a very small library in right. the room. I'm getting the books off the cart, I say, and then you notice that I'm sorting the books. And I'm also. like, I'm bleeding out in the cart. Please hurry. <laughs> they do not need to be alphabetical. Evelyn right. throws herself on the cart with great flourish. <laughs> She's dead. Oh, dead. no, another dead one. <laughs> a rough day in prison this is. As I, the respected librarian, have to migrate these out to where they can be dumped, but first drained of the blood they need. No, not drained. No draining. But that's what we do here in not prison, and <laughs> that's what will that's happen. Ass. <laughs> wow, it's crazy. I'm so lonely. I'm just talking to myself. Oh, well. <laughs> Time to push this cart where it needs to go. Uh, oh. Omen, yeah. are you also a dead body now? No, I, I think I'm going to be like one corner behind them. Sneaking. As point, they're pushing point, through. Point. No, no, I don't have my armor anymore. That's, oh, that's true. right. Ugh. Like a mouse. Yeah, this is, this is great times. Okay, um, let me just first get a little stealth check from Omen Drawn. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Here we go. You say that with such derision. Historically. Yeah. Did I? Historically, I've uh, had a lot of success in this context. Mm, mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah, that's not bad. We like it. Now, uh, it's 13. 13? Just a raw ass 13. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, Kathris, you're pushing a cart with not one but two dead people. Where are you taking this cart? Please, the armory. Uh, well, my, my goal is to take it to the library. Okay. And I'm assuming that I can do that on route to the armory, see. I want to get out of the cell block. Yeah, 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 yeah okay, yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm just wondering, are you headed toward the library or are you headed toward the armory? They're in uh, different directions. As far as the, yeah, as far as the, where the library is, is it, so you have to go through the cell block in order to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna have to come up with some reason why I'm going the long way. Yes, you are. Okay. But you wouldn't normally take dead bodies to the library, would you? True, that's the reason. That seems like a great reason. That's the reason <laughs> I say. I love helping with this plan. Yeah. <laughs> helping in real time. Yeah. I start on the way to the library and I go, whoops, that's where <laughs> books go. I'll take it a different direction because of the corpses. <laughs> and that's why. And not for some other reason. <laughs> to no one in particular. <laughs> Strix is like stifling a laugh. <laughs> and to be clear, you don't want deception or performance rules. You're just going to let me have it. Is there anyone there to <laughs> deceive is the question. Sure, but God. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I don't know if it would work or not until approached and murdered. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, as far as I know, this is working. Uh, do, you, do you feel in your heart that this, that Cuthris would view this as a deception or a performance? Life is a deception. 
Do not. So. Do not applaud. <laughs> you just get you get more of what you support. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. No, it would be performance, On, and they have, both have the same modifier. It doesn't matter. Okay, great, great. All right, so let's try. Oh. oh. I saw that go from a 19 it, to a one. This oh. is jacked. I'm just gonna say this has <laughs> been poorly managed by uh, someone who's not here. Sure, it's probably it's probably Alyssa's line. fault when you think about it. We could split the difference and call this like 11. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I approve. Is, there, is this where we establish the Chris Straub bullshit? <laughs> oh, my God. Potentially. No, I'll take a one, because I was, I was giving a one. You were giving a one. <laughs> Effort-wise. Yeah, okay. It's a comedy one. Okay. Um, with alacrity, the guards spring out of this hexagonal ob observation room in the cell blocks and say, what are you, are you taking the dead bodies over to the library? Yeah. Look at that's all the blood. I, that's, not what I, that's not what I go. No, I'm going the other way. Is it's to the armory, library? right? Where the dead body shoot is. Well, toward, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you go in the wrong way. It's that way. It's this way. You go this way, you go in the long way, and then you're going to have all kinds of problems. Oh, man, I, this is the first couple of dead bodies I've carted. Thank you for your help. This is uh, also a lie. This is still part of that natural one. I've seen you cart all kinds of dead bodies in and out of here. What are you talking about, Guthrie? You know me, a, a good prison worker that I am. I know all about the bodies that I take, and I will take them to the correct place. Yeah, you will. This guy is always a joker. Um, and uh, back into the... I do finger guns at the panopticon. <laughs> <laughs> at the cameras? Yeah, just at those dark windows. <laughs> You guys. <laughs> they've losing, seen it all. They're cracking up in there. You can't hear them, but you can see them all. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they're not going to let you go to the library. And they're like, I, I don't want to go to the library. I want to go to the armory. <laughs> are there like slats in the cart anywhere? Like, Yeah, dude. What do you want to do? Blood slats. Yeah, I was just wondering if I could just like... <laughs> just like bite someone's leg. They're gone already. Yeah, they're gone. And well, they, they told them to go to the armory where we wanted to go. What, you want to try hell? to bite them before they go? All right, yeah. yeah. You know what? <laughs> go for it. Give me an attack roll. Sick. <sighs> oh, God. Did you get a hold of that Wait, ankle? I'm going to add a so strength or? I think it comes off. Yeah. I got, yeah, it's just straight 18. Yeah. The whole foot just comes off in your mouth. Well, I panic because I clearly like, believe they don't believe you. Yeah. And then... Um, it, somebody reads that. Yeah. You interpret it correctly. Yeah. So I bite them. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> well, you, gotta, you gotta bite it this time. Sometimes in the death throes, that's what happens, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> These are the best guards ever. <laughs> Ouch! Damn. Every time. Okay, well... You take the, these two need to get in that body shoot ASAP before they go around biting anybody else, you know? Before they get any better. Before they heal up, I gotta take them back to their cells again. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> if you know it, if you do it enough times, I'm gonna haul three. <laughs> Save some time. I'm gonna have to come back for them. No, if the cart starts moving, I don't do it again. Yeah, Please with, move the cart. With effort, it's moving. <laughs> And the All teeth right. recede. Okay. <laughs> hey. Sticking out. All right. It's working. <laughs> it's not. It's just a shh, like behind the corner, like, what the fuck? <laughs> no bite. No bite. <laughs> no more bite. Sad face <laughs> from the slats. This is a dumb prison. <laughs> We're doing a good job. <laughs> I think it's a nice prison. <laughs> So you round the corner, heading toward the armory with your dead bodies, and uh, you run into a, what would be a mirror if you were all standing up, but since two of you are on a dead body cart, <laughs> it's just four figures come walking toward you. And as they draw closer, Kathris and Omen, you are able to easily see... Is it you two? It's the band U2 from Ireland. <laughs> Cool. They're here. Nice. Oh, no. Well, they belong what in you jail. do? One no. night only. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's you, too. Oh. It's all four of you as 
you would appear had you made some different choices in life. Different life choices. All four of you, Omen. Yeah. This version of you also wears a prison robe, but seems to voluntarily be wearing no shoes. Wow. And I'm just going to let you sit with that. <laughs> Strix, your clone self holds her body upright and is shocked to see you and makes eye contact. Through the slats? Yeah, through the slats. <laughs> I hiss. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Cathris. Your clone self is, has modified, much like Evelyn modified her outfit, to be sort of a crop top <laughs> and a skirt look. So stylish. And uh, no sleeves. Really? And when, uh, when they see you, they make eye contact and they go, Sabra. <laughs> Evelyn. You are not making eye contact. I don't know. I sound I'm like very convincingly dead. Okay, very convincingly dead. Your clone self is huddled behind Strix Ugh. as as though like the, uh, to to hide herself from this situation. <laughs> and every so often she whispers something in clone Strix's ear. Hmm. But as as you come around the corner with this cart, this is what you're confronted with visually. You're saying there's so not an actual mirror. We are seeing these figures. Yeah. In the hallway. Yeah. Okay. Would have been a mirror if you'd been walking, which is kind of what I had written for the encounter, but it's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good on the fly. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Improv. Acting. Yes. Yeah. And DM skills. <laughs> that omen's not wearing shoes. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> what do his feet look like? <laughs> <laughs> They're dirty. Like, he's been walking around this prison barefoot for possibly months. Hmm. Ew. Ew. And, but as the moment of tension sort of drags on, this clone omen says, hey, we can all just chill out. This doesn't have to be a thing. We're, we're, we, we're all the same, you know? Fucking shut up. <laughs> Wow, dude. Uh-oh. My gosh. The hate, you know? Can we just take a moment and just... Can we all just breathe together, you know what I mean? Evelyn takes a deep breath with them. No, no, don't, no, don't, don't do it. No, don't, don't do it. Clone? That does feel like That's it. I'm like, I push Evelyn out of the cart. I'm like, that's... <laughs> I'm like, that's it. No, we're, no, we're leaving. We're just, I fine. could use a couple more deep breaths. Do you do yoga? Yeah, I love yoga. Do you want to do a sun salutation right oh now? God. Oh, that's my favorite yoga. What yeah. in the hell? I'm so, so upset. Clone, I'm clone so Omen upset. is like in with Evelyn right now. Clone Omen comes over and is like, let's just, let's just have some space to ourselves. Can we just manifest what we want this outcome to be of this encounter? <sighs> you guys seen this? <sighs> They are not raising them right. No. This is not okay. This is a problem with the schools. Uh, that, have you all seen the armory? <laughs> and the clone Strix says, yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. that face you're making? It's your face. So. It is not, no. Do I talk, do I talk like that? Do no. I talk like that? No. No. You talk way nicer. That's kind of mean. Don't talk yeah, to why Strix you mean? that way, Strix. <laughs> Come on, Strix. Yeah. Why are you mean? When were you clones made? Because you look busted. No offense. I don't like her. Are we clones? Yeah. I don't like her. No. We're not clones. No. Are we clones? Oh, we're not. Well, yes, I am. But you are not. You are? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's. <laughs> yes. But I'm not that clone, and that clone sucks. Why? Hey. There's a lot about uh, there's a lot about you that fucking sucks. Do you like yoga, Omen? Do you, do you like this yoga? Omen? <laughs> do you want to do yoga with us? Do you want to do yoga with her, Omen? Is is there a is there a yoga where I twist your head off? <gasps> do I smell? There like, is. Yeah. Like, really? <laughs> Let's do it. It's really good. Does it smell like patchouli in here? Does anyone else getting that? <laughs> I'm gonna. I think this Omen also smells like patchouli. So. <sighs> 
<laughs> like, are you like a like a book nerd or like what's your? What's yeah, your... I'm one of the earlier iterations of us, and yes, I do enjoy books. <laughs> and I, even, in fact, I work for the library. You work. <laughs> Yes, what do you do? Uh, I mean, I'm just out here trying to, like, hang with my dudes. We don't need to know? judge people by what they do. That's, I don't even that's they the are. best thing to judge them by. <laughs> it's a great metric. I, I, yeah, absolutely. I think maybe these are the real us. No, that is not true. No, absolutely not. You all are being not. real mean. Listen. Strix is finally right about something, and I... See? So mean! Sorcerers are better than wizards? Whatever you say the next couple times is just going to be right, so use it up. Sorcerers are better than wizards. Enjoy it. I'm the best at magic. Okay. I'm better at magic than Jim. Okay, well, you only had two. Jim's may be dead. <laughs> I'm all you have. You got... Absolutely. Absolutely. The clone Strix says, oh, Jim's not dead. <gasps> Jim is not dead. Where's Jim? Where is he? Um, uh, and Clone Strix looks around at the other gang, uh, your evil clones, and they all start laughing. And okay. uh, then Evelyn whispers something. Clone Evelyn whispers to Clone Strix. And Clone Strix says, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to let them figure it out. <laughs> no, J there's... I, Jim... Jim's here. Jim's here. Wait. <laughs> the way you said that makes me wonder if perhaps Jim is not only here, but is perhaps the one keeping us here? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's true. It's giving him way too much credit. Yeah, you're right. He's scary. You're right. He got it. He sucks. He's terrible. He's the worst. He's trying real hard to be good at magic. He's the worst. My hands are fists. Everybody's hands are fists, At Jerry. This point. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> to just do it at will. I... It doesn't work, obviously. But I am trying to find the source of my connection to Taimora <laughs> in this place so hard. Okay that it will bore through the anti-magic shell. And I understand that that isn't it, but just physically, what it looks like is that I am vibrating very quickly in place. <laughs> and I'm breathing, but I don't know what it sounds like, and it doesn't sound healthy. Uh-oh, he's having a stroke. What does it sound like? <laughs> well, like, a, like a real expensive dog? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a dog, a dog whose breed is inimical to its own existence. Uh, I've wandered over and I'm like looking really close at the other Evelyn, and when she's not looking, I'm like tucking a piece of hair back into her, her style, and, like trying to fix her clothes a little bit. Like, yeah. Uh, she's way too afraid to speak to you, and every time she glances up at you, she's like, "Oh my God, so beautiful." <laughs> oh my God. It's okay. Here, let me fix that for you. Who? Do you know Lathander? Oh, boy. You have to know Lathander. You feel him in your heart, I'm sure. You know, I've never heard that name before. <gasps> Something about it just sounds right. Oh, you sweetheart. Zero to Lathander. I take her in my arms. And I say, in the beginning was the light, and the light was good. Right, that's it. And the morning, yeah, and she just, just starts no, the Lathander like, text from the beginning. We can't have no, no. Strix, we can't have two of these. I, can't, I understand. I'm starting to rip a slat. We're, off of we're the... rocking and singing. Oh my God. Morning, no, Lord. No. I plug my ears. I'm used to this. Just, just pretend it's white noise. Just don't even. So, like, uh, I don't know how to read, but, um, <laughs> like. <laughs> who's, who's talking right now? This is the, I'm Clone Cthulhu, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know how to read, but like, if I were, and I'm not saying I want to, like, I'm not interested in these stupid books, but like, if I were, though, like, what would you recommend? I would recommend learning how to read. <laughs> <laughs> not. And then. Yeah, you not, can take not your pick. going to do that. <laughs> okay, well. Are the good pictures? I'm just trying to get these, um, these defective clones 
to the wolf stable <laughs> for dumping. <laughs> and if you can assist with that, that would be most appreciated. And if you can't, then I would request you direct me to someone who does know where the wolf stable and clone dumping grounds are. <laughs> Oh, bro, you're talking about the armory, bro. You should have written that down. Yes, we want, book nerd. We want to go to the armory, uh, bro Kathris? Yeah. Dude, bro Thris. It's, it's, <laughs> it's right over here. It's like, it's easy to get into. All right, can you all just like leave us alone? Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> um, but Strix, so clone Strix is still giggling about Jim. <laughs> And leans Where? into original Strix, like, um, just so you know, <laughs> Jim in here sucks worse than Jim out there. Oh, so but there's more than one that suck? Yeah, this is kind of like a cloning facility, so there's like more than one. But listen, it's not a big deal. I bet if I know you, and I think I probably do, you aren't able to use your magic in here, correct? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Not me. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we can get this settled. All you're gonna need is the wristband. Yeah, we know that, yeah. Yeah. The wristband is gonna turn on the magic skills, mm -hmm. and the other thing to know is that Jim has wristbands. So. <gasps> oh, well, we can just go ask him for some. Absolutely. Yeah, but he's a clone too. Oh, but certainly the friendship that Omen and Jim have transcends. Which Jim is this? How many Jims are there? <laughs> I, um, I mean, there's, there's more than one. That is not a good answer. There's less than a hundred. Well, there might be more than a hundred. What? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm, I did not do this. I did not establish this facility. I am a clone also. I, yeah. I know. <sighs> We're all clones. But I, we are not clones. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't like your tone. I'm just going to say that. Anyway, you're going to want your weapons before you go talk to Jim. So, um, all right. And then this, this, uh, this clone, you're right next to the armory. The, the clone goes and um, presses her hand, clone strict presses her hand into a keypad. The armory, armory doors slide open. Ugh. Yes. They're clean, aren't they? The weapons? Her hands. Oh, sparkling clean. No. Incredible manicure. Gross. Yeah. She's, she's awful. Yeah. Anyway, have at it. It's not going to do any good, but, you know, more the merrier. Have fun. Thanks. Yeah. Wow. I have uh, Evelyn uh, arm in arm. Can I keep her? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you feed her. <laughs> Every day. You going to take her for walks? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Horse rides and everything. And Evelyn's a big responsibility. <laughs> please don't take, please don't take that. Please. It's, come on, I did real good with the hamster. It's, Please, we don't need more pets. It's weird. We already forgot about Mintacoin. Where even is it? She is my sister. Even, even I think that having a clone of yourself as a pet is pretty dark. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that leaving a clone of yourself who has just discovered their savior in the dark of a prison is better? I don't want to argue with you either way, but what I will say is that now you have someone to evangelize Lathander in this unholy place. I take her face in my hands and say, you you will tell them of the light. Now go, you beautiful messenger. And I kind of like shove her a little bit. As she, I, she stumbles and falls she down. like, <laughs> like a bird with new wings. <laughs> she, she pushes her hair back so that it looks a little bit more like yours. And she's like, in his holy name. <gasps> and she runs off. All of, the, all of the clones run away. Very nice. You this get your gonna weapons. change everything. Right. I don't act like that, do I? Like what? Like, like that's, that's not me, right? No, that's not you. All right. She's a lot cleaner than you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to pet Kathris because they ruined that one. Yeah. They, the bad bake. Yeah. It's in that it, one. It's not done in the middle. Yeah. Or it's, it's too done at the it's edge. It's raw. It's a burnt pie. <laughs> All right, welcome to your weapons. You we, have yay, it feels good. Yay, my <laughs> axe. All right. Awesome. Now yeah. let's run to that stable. Yeah, we have to find, well, I mean. A, I love horses. B, Rosie told us to go there. See, Jim has can... wristbands. Is Jim in the stable? Apparently, Jim is here and has our has wristbands for or us. Or there's a clone of Jim that oh, has clone, wristbands. Who knows? Hey, uh, clone us. Where did you say Jim was? 
Oh, you'll find him. Don't worry. And they all start laughing, but they're leaving. They're gone. You guys are kind of mean. Yeah, they are. they're mean. You're mean. Okay, well, let's go to the stable. Yeah, let's go. All yes, right. we, have a, a, we have to talk to a dog about a book. <laughs> you shouldn't talk to your, about your daughter that way. <laughs> no, we're going to use the dog's book to talk to the dog. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. You just t- parsed it wrong. You yeah. type it out, use dog book on. <laughs> Question, um, help. Yeah. <laughs> Score, inventory. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, da, da, da. You pass outside and overhead. It's, it's bitter cold out here, so we're going to hustle because Ooh. we're wearing prison robes and not a whole lot else. But oh. in that, this brief window of, of uh, outside, you have driving snow, and the, the winds seem only broken by the height of the walls of Revel's End. And, um, and above you, you do see that dome of green flame. Green flame! And you hustle your way into the stables. And the stables are kind of cozy, certainly compared to the outside. Sure. But um, there is only one occupied stall. Uh, and what you can hear as you enter is the sounds of and this creature has become aware of you long before you entered. Oh, for sure. There's, there's definitely like a, a warning coming from the stall. I Can wanna, we? Oh, oh go ahead. No. Oh, I was going to say like, yeah, what's our lineup? Because I want to approach such that I can see in. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you are able to peep in, Cuthris, and backed up against the far corner of this stall is a massive dire wolf. And its eyes are, are uh, like the, the, the brows are drawn down and the, the, the lip is curled and the, the fangs are out. But the telltale sign to you are the two red feathers just behind the right ear. And around its neck is a leather book tied with a thong. Hello, friend. (laughs) Hackles are up. Myliki, do you not remember me? And then the lip goes down and the eyes go wide and the hackles go down the back, and the tail starts wagging. Aww. Wagging, and the, the dire wolf stands and pads slowly over, and, and she, she turns her head to look you right in the eye with one of her eyes. And it's, it, 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 she definitely recognizes you. As though speaking it for the first time, come here, girl. <laughs> good, good girl. <laughs> She Ooh. sits down, thump. Ooh, big stretch. <laughs> <laughs> you are a dog. Yes, you are. You are the best dog. <laughs> do you know, do you know this dire wolf? This, I believe, is Walnut. <gasps> Walnut? A, 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 an associate at my workplace. I know Walnut. Yeah, we've met Walnut. We're friends. I, Hi, Walnut. Hi, Walnut. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm more of a cat person. Oh, and none of this works. I can't do it. Oh, I might add from the armory, I gathered nothing because I don't actually have anything. Yeah. <laughs> I have no power. <laughs> no magic. Could you and ask Walnut if we could borrow that book? Yeah, we don't. I'll try. Can we have the book? <laughs> <laughs> Walnut goes, and then thump, lays over, and then the belly is out, and the book is available. <laughs> Good girl. Lots of scratches. You find the spot. Yeah. It starts kicking. Apologies to Walnut. This is very undignified. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally how. This is literally how they would do it. Okay, good. <laughs> what have they done to you? Why do you want to be a dog now? Is it better Every than being go- conscious of everything? <laughs> Every is time- this the true form? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say dog, it's like. <laughs> 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 Wolf. Dire wolf. Uh, the, the book is readily available. Okay. What now? Yeah, we retrieve the book. Yeah. And I, as a literate, Cathris, 
Yeah, I was just going to say, either one of us can do it. Now, the documency thing, I have some experience with it. Oh, I yield, I yield. Yeah. So I will come up, and I'm going to scratch just down the muzzle, right on the face. Um, she doesn't love it. Whoa. But I think that might be because it's you. <laughs> yeah, I, I strongly suspect. Um, uh, I will get the book and then back away. Mm -hmm. That's for the best. Yes. Yeah. That's a lot of tooth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to sit back in the corner in one of these stalls and crack it open. OK. It's blank inside. Interesting. There's nothing going back? No. It's almost like a new, like a fresh book. Or perhaps a book that's erasing itself so that yeah, it's, no one could find the evidence. Yeah, DRM. Um, so I, I just, I, but it's also a new book in some ways. And I, I just bury my nose in it. <laughs> Oh, it's been a long time. I mean, it's been years since I've, since I have had access to any of this. Give me a Constitution saving throw. Technology <laughs> check. Ooh. Oh, is, is it rich? Sniff check. Smell. Twenty. It's a half chub. <laughs> That's what you get on a twenty. A partial. Wow. Well, I, I, I'm gonna open it over my lap. Um. That seems wise. Um, and so, uh, I mean, does it, does it have a, a quill or something that I can use to it does. communicate through? Yes, a All right. beautiful red feather quill. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna open up the book and write sissy, question mark. Sorry, say that again. I was being communicated to from the beyond. Oh, sorry. Uh, it, does have, it does sometimes it does. happen. It does sometimes We're happen. engaging in a magical act already. I write, sissy, question mark. Almost instantaneously, pop, pop, period. It's like, can you get us out of here? Working on it. And her handwriting, which I think you probably know quite well, it is harried. It is frantic, you know, it's almost as though, you know, you're texting her while she's driving. Yeah, exactly. You know? She's, she's writing it like in the seat of a cart. Yes. And it's like bouncing, it's like going yeah. onto the other page and then coming back. Yes, exactly, yeah. Sit tight. Mm -hmm. I, um, say, I say, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> There's an LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Little hearts. <laughs> She's invented the emoji. <laughs> she would. Are emojis impressive in D&D? &D? Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. Um, and then she says, there's a, there's a moment I, while, you're, while you're waiting for more, and, and she says, um, y by the way, you're the only one who calls me sissy. I say, I know. It's our thing. <laughs> Uh, and no response comes after that. Okay, I'm gonna tuck the quill in. Um, and I'm gonna keep this thing. You said it has a leather strap on it? It does. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, that's gonna be part of my raiment now, is this book over the right shoulder. Hell yeah, mm. love it. Okay. Why were the clones being so helpful? Is it because this is a trap or because they're dumb? I wish I knew. I, I, I wish I could say that, I wish I could say that I understood what these other clones were doing. I, I swear to you, I swear to you, I'm not connected to this. Mm -hmm. we, we used the book, so the last thing on our to-do list, as it were, would be to find Jim. To get wristbands. So that and yeah, it, if, if he's giving out wristbands, and if he likes to watch us suffer, he's probably, in the in observation the room. Yes, that's a great call. They're laughing in there now. Of course he fucking works here. <laughs> <laughs> that's my best guess. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Kathris? You know this place better than us. I know the hallway between the library. <laughs> oh, boy. And the cells. <laughs> and that's it. But it tracks with what you say because you believe it. <laughs> And you know better than I would. Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of this. Well, should we try? I yes. Yeah, no one, I mean, the clones don't want to stop us, I guess. I just, are we the dumb ones? Are we the dumb ones? Are they the dumb ones? 
I'm okay, having a crisis. One way, this one way to find out. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. You head back inside, and as you, yeah, through the cold, thank you, no. incredible, <laughs> it's, Whoa, it's cold for a second, Burr. and it's not. Um, you head back all the way back into the, the cell block area, and that, that uh, Panopticon guard station uh, that you were being observed from, there's no, there's no gym in there. But um, let me get perception rolls from all of you, please. Oh. Whoop. Uncharacteristically 19 for you. <laughs> it's very high for you. Yeah. That might be the one. What do you I, got? I'm 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. 20. Uh, I got 13. Okay. I know how to perceive things. Excellent. Omen, there is a... What, what would you say is Jim's most characteristic quality? Uh-oh. The one that just screams, Jim. He just loves, he loves an entrance. Mm. Loves an entrance, excellent. So with that 20, you are able to, your head snaps around, not too much. Yeah, not, not, I'm not injured by Not it. fatally. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, a solid 180. Yeah, <laughs> like an owl. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're, you realize, you hear, you hear the sound of, it couldn't be, but maybe it is, the sound of a Jim Dark Magic voice mm -hmm. saying... Something Jim-esque. Very Jim-esque. And if, if, you, uh, if you had to guess, it's, they said, saying something like, get out of my way, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's coming from down the hall, past the armory. Okay. Well, let's, let's observe safely from the corner. Yeah, are we the fuckers? Should we get out of the no, way? No, this, this appears to have been directed in a, a down-the-hall kind of way. You're not, you can't see a gym. No, 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 but there's, and there's, we know that there's a gym, and we know that there's fuckers. Okay. Well, yes. doesn't he, That's doesn't all we he, know so far. Doesn't he need help? What if he needs help? I mean, uh, well, we're, we gotta see. It He's sounds, so it's, weak. It sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> You're right, we should go help him right away. Yeah, he right might away. need your help with magic. Uh-huh, right away. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We run to it. <laughs> run, running to it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you all sort of stop short. You get to this room from, from which the utterance could be heard. And before you can see what's going on, you can certainly hear it and probably smell it. Um, but what's, what's emitting from this room is rich. I don't like this Red little alert. giggle <laughs> that just happens. This is a serious game. <laughs> Y'all are gross. Um, it's uh, the, the sounds of what could only be battle. And the, the room itself is, is a lit with gouts of green flame. Oh. <laughs> Shooting in, uh, shooting out the doorway and, and lighting up the space. The closer you get to this room, because of course, why wouldn't you get closer? Mm -hmm. um, the more you hear the sounds of Jim's dark magic. How has he got magic? I charge in, running toward him and say, A wristband! A wristband! <laughs> <laughs> the axe aloft. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, wristband! <laughs> All right, Evelyn, you come charging into this room, and here's what you see. This had to be some kind of calculation error. There are gyms on gyms in oh, here. No. Oh, no. Hundreds of gyms oh. in a vast room. So this is a pimp my gym scenario. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe... You know, Let's, among multiple yeah. figurations. Yeah. They're, they are all engaged in a, a sort of um, gym battle royale, uh, oh. the last gym standing. <laughs> there, are, there are many gyms who are, are shooting, using, using their wands to battle, flying into the corners. But there are even more gyms that are piled up on the periphery of the room in great heaps. <laughs> are they dead, wearing wristbands? Dead as hell. Yeah. The corpses are not, but... Uh, makes each, sense. 
Each living gym has many wristbands, as though to amplify his own abilities to do magic. I want to run up to one, and with, you know that confidence that you run up to someone and you just put out your hand because they're going to give you something? Yeah. I want to do a persuasion check, just like, wristband. And I want to, I yeah. want to just convince him to give oh, me. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's cool. Oh, still I have good persuasion. Hold on. Even with a two, it's an 11. Okay. Jesus Christ. You beat my not persuasion. <laughs> my, my not willingness to be persuaded. Okay. So with that, the gym's like, oh, fucking whatever. All right, yeah, you get one. Yes. You get a wristband. And then the, this, this particular gym goes back to shooting. I repeat it with another gym to get one for strength. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're working. Yeah. That's a 22. That one gives me like three wristbands, right? No, he only gives you one. Okay. <laughs> I just thought, maybe. I wrote an extra stick. Here, wristband. Do I see this? I'm like... Yeah, you're all there. What, why would... This, is, this isn't an affront to nature. <laughs> I'll do it to another one. <laughs> just chop their arm off. Yeah. 15. Yeah, you get another one. Cool. It's just like, come on, just, just take it. I'm doing shit. I'm, yeah. I want to, I'm looking at this <laughs> from a distance, but now I'm seeing some of this. I want to know if the, the ones with more wristbands seem to have more power than others. Um, yeah, I'm give, also curious what, about that. Give me a, what, wisdom perception? Sure. Ooh, not bad. Uh, that's going to be like a 19. Yeah. No, absolutely not. <laughs> They're purely decorative. Yeah, Those dopes. No, oh, I put mine on. I, okay. I throw one to Catrice. Yes. Yeah. I, my entire purpose here is just to find, is, I'm like around the edge, like the periphery of this, I'm trying to find the one that I think is my gym. How are you planning to do that? It seems like the rest of these have modified themselves in some way. Like the other clones that we've seen, don't really adhere to the, the, the prime model mm. um, like the rest of us. True. And I know there are certain things. I know that he has a very specific tattoo. Okay. Um, I don't want to say where it is, but just know that I know where it is. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's of, it's of two wands. <laughs> okay. And it's in a, a unique location. <laughs> Lower back, right? That's yeah. Uh, like that, but on the opposite side. Lower front. Lower wow. front. Bold. Would you like to ask So if, if what you're asking oh is, my God. am I running around looking inside <laughs> oh my God. the pants? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what the untrained eye might see. <laughs> I, but know this, it's done with purpose. Seems like Omen's got his own wristband Are, situation on lock. <laughs> I want to look away. I'm so horrified. What is happening? You have magic now. Oh, please. Can we leave? Can I, like, I, my staff does plane shift. Can we just get out? <laughs> of the prison? Yeah. Ah. Probably not. Not yet. Work. But you. Yeah are digging through every gym crotch you can find. Oh, dude, I am pawing at these crotches. I want to leave. Yeah. I want to leave. Yeah. Like, hungrily. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a highlights magazine. You're finding three wands. You're finding just one <laughs> weird one. I'm going to one that's broken in half. No. <laughs> not, not like this. That's not it. This is the wrong wand. It's like, you think it's it? No, they're across like, yeah, that. I got that's not it. it. I lift him upside down. Oh, that's the wrong fucking one. Slightly different hilt on this one. Yeah. It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm tugging like, on an, like a robin would tug on an earthworm. I mean, I I'm need, just like. I need clean audio of that for the animation. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. No problem. <laughs> Are you putting them back? Like, you know. Well, I'm, st I'm, I'm as I'm assessing. Uh huh. Each one. Yeah, I mean, I do stack them like cordwood. Oh, don't put them back. How do you know which ones you've done already? Oh, my God. oh no, no. The, that pile, I'm stacking them okay. in, with real precision um, and efficiency. So don't worry, Kithris. I don't need your help on this. Because I can. No, I've, I've got it. This is something that only a friend should do. <laughs> you could use find object if you have it. 
I, I don't have it. You could focus it in your mind. He doesn't have a wristband yet. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay. He's all, all right. about the D. I have a system. <laughs> I have a system, he says. <laughs> I, I get it gets to the point where I'm doing two at a time. It's, like, it's re- being it, refined. It, eventually, it takes two or three to get the same high. Like, <laughs> oh my God. you know what I mean? That's where it goes. That's how they get It gets dark, oh honestly. Like, it's increasingly desperate. I might have missed it. That's how crazy I'm being. You want to start over? I have to. I go no. back to the pile. <laughs> The thought that you might have missed it. You can't get rid of it. God yeah. damn it. You're going back. Stop the battle. Everybody tuck in. You have we to have to solve this To now. crowdsource this. Yeah. Can Lathander help us? Well, when Kathris says use locate object, Evelyn will look around and see, uh, do all the gyms have the same wand? Are they using a wand? Two wands, baby. <laughs> They're using both. Yeah. And do they all look the same, or are there slight differences? Like, I would assume a wizard makes his wands. Yeah. So, uh, they're all pretty much the same. But if I were to locate object, because I'm familiar with Jim's wands. I, I hear it, too. Let's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's not kind of locate object. It's like, yeah. get the one you need. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I'm going to focus on Jim's wand. No! Like Omen. Like yeah. reverently. Yeah. Picture it in your mind. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to locate objects okay. on the real gyms. And the, what's the range on locate objects? Good question. It's pretty big. It is. Recall. It's not big, the one. But it's the not. It's range. not too big. It's within a thousand feet of me. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, like it's going to hit the shell, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Oh. Omen. I'm so sorry, but he's not here. That's the best news you could tell me. <laughs> Is there, like, hand on it's, his back? That's the best news you could tell me, and honestly, I had fun. So... <laughs> well, that's good. You know, I mean, that's, it was his own reward. It's you, the, okay. It's the best news now, without... <laughs> after, after she's told me, I just check a couple more real quick. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, now I'm done. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now, now I'm done. Now I'm really done. Whoa. Oh, no, done. The question is, are the gyms having a good time? No, they're dead. These are dead. <laughs> dead. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at the dead oh, ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it's not a great That's look. That's grosser. Yeah, it's not a great look, I'll be honest with no. you. No. Uh, I'd like to leave, please. Yeah, I agree. Let's go. <laughs> you can leave. Uh, Omen, would you like to get a wristband or not? Nah? Yeah, absolutely. Well, go for it. Yeah. How are you going to talk a Jim into giving you a wristband? I say, hey, hey Jim. What? What? I just I'm a, busy. I, yeah, I mean, I, I know that. Absolutely. Um, can I just get a Can I just get a wristband real quick? What? One of these? This is This is This is my power, man. This is how This is how I'm. I I, I live I live for these wristbands. It doesn't you, It doesn't It doesn't work that way. I have bad news. What, what are you talking about? No, it, 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 you hit one, and then you're done. I don't think so. No, I mean, I I I promise you. Ah. Mmm. Okay, I mean, here, listen. You're gonna have to give me a persuasion roll. Here, here, why don't you kill that one, and then I'll just, I'll take one of his, and you can have the other 18. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, no, that's a good plan. The guy's dead. All right, here, cool. I'll just go over, reach back to the back band, mm-hmm. and just go. Nice. Very cool. Uh, you want to check his? Keep one. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> Just check under the hood, honk, honk, and then <laughs> grab this. One wristband. Uh, the other 17. Uh, I say, I mean, love you, buddy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to speed things along. You guys leave this room. Oh, I throw a fireball in, though. Great. Everybody, <laughs> all the gyms die. Your work's yeah, cut out yeah. for you. Hey. As, as y'all leave, uh, you are, again, found by Rosie B. Singer. And she says, okay, wristbands, weapons, got it. Book, love it. I have been in touch with Certainty. Me too. Good dad, dad of year. Um, it's, I, it sounds like she's got the sigils figured out. So we just need to make our way to the Library of Blood. Is that the same as the book library? No. Common question. Very different. Totally different. One has books and the other one has blood. So. Oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah, they are right next to each other. Oh. Yeah. I hope the signage is good. 
Yeah. It, it could be better. Yeah. <laughs> it could be better. Um, but she is in a hurry. She's hustling, y'all. Mm -hmm. She's like, the timing, timing is very, there's like the little tiny legs are going. It's like, like, a, like a human corgi walking so down the like hall. So we're like fast walking next yeah. to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's booking yeah. it. Yeah, she's yeah. booking it. She's booking it. Honestly, probably a leisurely stride for some of you. <laughs> um, but she's like, this, the timing the timing is very, very important. Very important. We got to get there. I am tired of being in this prison, I got to tell you. <laughs> it's not been, hasn't been a fun time for Rosie B. Stinger. Okay. Grandma, are we the dumb clones? We're not going to, you know what, sweetie? Um, I don't, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> All right. The answer's not no. Okay. <laughs> um, and you get, you get to this library of blood, and Rosie presses her palm against the keypad, and, um, and you, you enter. And what you see in front of you is a massive, almost oh, endless shit. vault of blood, Ugh. vials upon vials upon vials upon vials, as far as the eye can see. Hey, Rosie. Hey. How come you can unlock the blood library? Um. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a complicated situation, but um, I, I, did, I, did, I did some favors. I don't want to get into oh, it. Oh, OK. Um, but we, I'll tell you later. Over, let's, let's have a drink. Um, and so the, the, uh, the... We have to break this. The, the, these vials, yeah. and they, they seem organized in some ambiguous way. Um, but it's, it's unclear. What you do know is that, damn, there's a lot of blood here. A lot of blood. And before you have too much time... Fireball. To inspect... Get ready. Oh, get that fireball ready. Um, there is a, a chamber to the right as you enter with massive metal doors. And over it is helpfully a label that says cloning facility. Great signage. That does have good signage. That one's important. The cloning facility, this is where the clones are made. Yes. <laughs> Parenthesis. Arrows, ding, ding, ding. With a pneumatic hiss, those cloning facility doors slide open, and a cloaked figure is standing in the doorway. <gasps> Sup, <Sophia? laughs> You recognize none other than your daughter, Certainty Drawn. Papa! <laughs> I had it. You. I had it. You so did not. I had it. No, you didn't. That's why I'm here. Don't worry. I got your back. I brought all the stuff I needed to bring. <laughs> oh, yeah. I brought <laughs> my, my character sheet <laughs> and my dices. I this, by the, this, by the way, is the incredible Jasmine Boulard. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You bet, sweetie. I feel like I heard a lot of dice hit the floor. I mean, that's... We have it handled, okay? okay? <laughs> and when Rosie sees certainty, um, she freezes. And there's this moment of confusion, and she's like, you didn't... You didn't have to. You didn't... You didn't... Save my dad? Of course I did. That's Papa. I know, but is he worth it? He's hopeless without me. He's hopeless. I mean, uh, I mean it's are these a, your friends? Do you have a, a clip? Hi, a I'm Evelyn. Hi. Really nice to meet you, Certainty. I'm Certainty. I've heard so Hi. much all about you. Hi, Constipation. My name's Strix. <laughs> <laughs> it's Certainty, Certainty, sweetheart. Certainty. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Certainty. Yes. All right. I, yeah. It's very cool. All right. Shut up, Strix. Hello. Listen, I didn't pick my name. That nerd did. I know. It's not your fault. <laughs> I can't help it. It's true. So. Rosie, Rosie seems unsettled by the fact that certainty has appeared, but, you know, we must, we must press on. Certainty, you know the arrangement of the sigils, which must be inscribed upon the floor of this blood library in order to take down the dome of green flame. Green Y'all never get sick of that. I like it. <laughs> um, and you also know that you have an incredibly capable sorcerer 
Ooh. to help you set those sigils. Do you do magic certainty? A little bit, yeah. Like, like. Like a lot. Like, don't, don't, don't be, you know. Oh, do like you care lot. about my opinion now? I, I, I'm just, I just, I, I. Oh, you think I know magic? I think that, I mean, I paid a lot for these schools, and so it's. <laughs> Uh, you know, I consider it an investment. I do too. So you're... And that's why I love you. And I touch him on the nose and give him bardic inspiration. Aww. Oh, a bard. Okay. Oh, you're a bard. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm the president of the debate club. Wow. <laughs> and youth parliament. <laughs> I feel inadequate immediately. And the environmental club. I am wow. the president of the trash can. You know what? <laughs> Waste management is important. It is. It goes on my body. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't know you were going to be here, but there is something to know. Um, these two, and I, uh, Rosie points to Evelyn and to Omen. Mm -hmm. There's like a thing between them, so... Pop Pop has a girlfriend? I don't. Girl, do we hear this? A girlfriend. I don't oh. think give me that a, that's... Give me a perception check. Let me see if you... At 20. Seven. <laughs> Absolutely Ooh, yeah. perfect. I... Oh, what was that? Yeah. Yeah, Evelyn, you don't hear anything. You're, you're, you're looking at these vials of blood. Uh, dreaming about all the blood stuff you uh. Omen, you hear it, though. Yeah, I don't think that's... I, I don't think that's accurate. Obviously... We're in an exploratory phase. Certainly, they're talking. There's a. I mean, obviously, there is potential. There's certainly there's mutual appreciation, but there's a lot about me that might be a deal breaker. Like uh, my clone facility is one of the things that mm -hmm. could be an issue. Uh, you know, from a relationship perspective. So much blood. You, know, you spent so much time <laughs> telling me that you either are in or you're out, and there's no halfway. So it's just very. This is, it's a, I mean, it's kinda, a relationship like this would be like... Kind of hypocritical. It would be a collaboration, certainly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can be all the way in, for example, but right. that's only 50% of so the relationship. So she's not into you. What would someone do I with all this blood? I don't think she's not, she's not not into me, yeah. but she's also not into me. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, it's not like... Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, it's like... <laughs> like, if you sent message to each other. It's like, wah, wah. how would you sign off on it? Um, Ooh. I would, would it say, I would say something like, uh, it really is so much. I, <laughs> something like, well, honestly, I would love to get your opinion on this. Mm -hmm. What, how would it be? Let's say at the end of the, let's say at yeah. the end of the letter, and I have sent letters. You tell me this, this one already happened. So, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for good news. Okay. The last one that I sent, I signed Cool Omen. <laughs> now, I like that. Let's, let me go down the list, because I thought about it for a while, about five hours. And I was like, cool, good in a crisis. Cool, also like cool like a skateboard. Um, um, Blood is really cool if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I was thinking about starting a band. What do we think about that? Is that, do you think that's going to help at all? I just take yeah. his hand. He starts to melt down. Yeah. <laughs> I, I cast calm emotions. <laughs> I've never been so fascinated for so long with something in my I, entire <laughs> life. I'm really glad to see you. I think I might have really fucked up things bad. <laughs> Not about the jail. This is a temporary problem. I think cool open. I think cool omen might not have been the right sign off. You know what? That's that's what I'm getting from you all, now. All you can be is authentically you. Authentic omen. Is that a good sign off? You know, maybe. Like maybe the real we omen. Just stick with a dash, and maybe just not put words, and just do dash, omen. I mean, when it boils down to it, we're all just atoms, you know. <laughs> Sissy, how about dash and then mm -hmm. just a O with a flourish? I love that for you. <laughs> I'm still bleeding, by the way. Can you heal me now? Evelyn. Huh? 
I'm bleeding still. I what? lost a lot of blood. In fact, More there's blood. A, there's a trail. I lay on hands over <laughs> there's your a hands. Trail all the way from where we were. Thank you. Eminently Thank you. Tracking. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, you also missed a really awkward conversation. Oh really? What was it? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's... That's about how most of our conversations yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. I'm so but sorry. I, I mean, I got I got some good ideas oh. for remember, my next letter. So. Do you remember that letter that Omen sent? We signed it Cool Omen. <laughs> yeah, we're pen pals. We send yeah, letters I, through your hat. How did you feel about that? It was cool. <laughs> also, you're really pretty. Thank so you. it's okay. <laughs> That's so nice. <good. laughs> no more letters through the hat. Old man still got it. Why? Mm -hmm. he's, he's, got that, he's got a book that like, writes magic letters. Use that. I mean, you made me, so clearly you got some game. Yeah. Anyway, blood. Catharis, you like blood. Well, so I unfortunately succeeded on that perception roll. So oh, I I'm so sorry. Can, can we get on with it, I say, as I, I sip a vial of blood? No, oh, that's not it. No. What's the label on the blood? Whose yeah. is it? I've been, I want to find my own and destroy it. Uh, are they labeled even? Or uh, is it some inscrutable? Dude, some library know. shit. Oh, it's Dewey Decimal. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I did say you had librarian skills. Mm -hmm. you, you fucked up, Kate. Right, fuck you fucked up. up. Fuck. Find blood. <laughs> I cast locate my own blood. <laughs> At locate. the highest level. <laughs> locate me blood. <laughs> um, give me an intelligence investigation with advantage, please. Okay, let's see, because I'll need it. Oh, no, that's going to be pretty good. That one will be a... That's a 21. Blood master. That's not 21. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, you are able to find your own blood. It takes some time, and Rosie is getting more and more agitated that there is a window of time that these sigils must be set. The timing is very specific. I found my own blood. <laughs> yeah. Great. Some of it was here, but some of it was over there. The way they organize it, very strange. I'll need time to discern the particulars of this system. We're not, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Certainty. Hmm. So <laughs> you're, you're, you're like trying to find the legs of the blood? <laughs> yeah. That's this blood is case. red. <laughs> this blood is mine. <laughs> um, you two are going to collaborate on getting these sigils drawn on the floor in this blood, blood library as fast as humanly possible. All I right. think, New with friend. my knowledge and your spookiness, New friend. we can definitely get this done. That are the two, those are the two all ingredients. Right. You know, because it's not, there's no pressure. It's not like if we miss this window, yeah. we're all gonna be stuck here forever and die. So there's oh, no I've pressure. died a couple times, it's fine. New friend. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. Um, all arcana check it. Yes, please. Give me some arcana, and then how, how would you like to assist the sigil scribing? Um, can I use my, uh, let's see, can I use my investigation? Hell yeah. All right. That's a nine. What are you investigating exactly? My knowledge of this, uh, <laughs> like, my, my, time, my time in here. Oh, <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. All right. I got it's a secret. 17 for my arcana. Okay, love it, love it. I got an 18 plus a 12, so I think... Are you fucking... What? See, Plus it was 12? money well spent. It was money well spent. Top of the class. Yeah. What school did you go to? Um, you know, it, it's very exclusive. Did you just, when did you graduate? I was homeschooled. It was really embarrassing, and I don't like to talk about it. Oh, I'm it. sorry. Yeah. Was Omen a bad dad? He was a great dad. Okay. This yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. He was, How old are you? I'm, I'm 19. Oh, we're so close in age. I yeah. Can't, I can't express enough. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because <laughs> your daughter and I were... It's not that funny. Oh. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Rosie thinks it's well. pretty funny. Keep <laughs> <laughs> writing some sickles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These sickles done been inscribed in the, the 30... The, the, the 30 check here from, from Certainty um, it makes it go all the faster. You know exactly uh, where, the, where these need to be positioned, how, and, and on, honestly, you're also giving Strix a history lesson of the sigils and, you know, wow. where, where you you, know, how you learn something them. Something interesting about this one. <laughs> <laughs> this I, 
This I, one's actually in a different script whoa. than the other ones are in, which I hope is you, really interesting. Look I hope you serious. ask about her staff and is like, what do these mean, right? Yeah, I, I do. No, she's yeah. like, I have no idea. Oh. No, I just, I made them up. Oh. Yeah. You know, I like that. No, I, I found the meaning of this one from searching a, a dead man's grave. I'm a grave robber. He's a cradle robber. It's great. It works amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Strick starts to just hyperventilate the rest of the time. Like, the, the re it's so awkward now that the socially awkwardness is just peaked. She's just hyperventilating. Mm -hmm. Oh, you time. think it's peaked? Yeah. I cast, <laughs> yeah. I cast vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I say, Rosie, is this like a, like a bank vault situation? You seem kind of sweaty here. I'm just, I've been trying. <laughs> I'm, I am always this sweaty, A. B, I told you, I don't know how many times, that the timing is very, and in the middle of that sentence, the end, the sigils begin to glow. See? And it's fine. An ambient sort of like humming sound that maybe you weren't aware of suddenly drops out of perception. And the, it, goes, it goes sort of that, boo. And oh, fuck. quickly. Oh. This piece of shit. Uh. <laughs> Almost instantaneously, the Cosmo Hopper teleports into this blood library, effectively destroying a great number <laughs> of the shelves filled with vials of blood. Yay! Is yes. so there like a wave? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can like surf Elevator on blood for about five yeah. seconds. Gross. Yeah. If you want, you do a dexterity. No, I fly above it. Okay. Oh no, I'm like, wee, <laughs> like an otter. <laughs> You're just like, it's like yeah. singing in the rain for you, but blood. Yeah, like on your back. Yeah, swimming, kicking. Playing with a little vial. Mm -hmm. The Cosmo Hopper has teleported into the, the blood library, but not entirely. So there, there is a chunk of the wall, Kool-Aid man style, that has been also teleported out of existence. And stumbling out of the Cosmo Hopper is none other than your friend and mine, Vi. Yay! Oh, yay! Oh. And Vi stumbles out with her vape rig, and she says, she says, Honeys, <laughs> how I've missed you. And now we're going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> She comes over and she squeezes Rosie's hand, and they exchange a little meaningful look between the two of them, but they, they don't say anything. And, and uh, Vi starts to usher you back inside um, into, into the Cosmo Hopper to get out. But that massive hole in the wall of the blood library, snow and winds, and all of the, the bleakness of Icewind Dale is now rushing in. But even more alarming is the sudden, deafening, terrifying, mechanical scream of crystal on crystal, of metal on metal, that shakes the broken glass of this blood library. And that's where we're going to end tonight. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Bad Kate. <laughs> Bad Kate. Everybody shut up for a second. <laughs> a, what a wonderful crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so the best much. Crowd. Thank you so much for playing with us. I was so nervous, and y'all made this so much better. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I also, if any of you know me, you know that I'm a queen of mush. And so, just very quickly before we sign off, I just want to turn to Jerry. Oh. Uh -oh. And say, go fuck yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. I started coming to PAX in 2007, and Woo! I started watching Ack Inc. that year, here, on this stage. And I'd never played Dungeons & Dragons before. I didn't know anything about it, but I saw you and your friends on this stage yeah. playing D&D, &D, yeah. and it changed my whole fucking life. Woohoo! Thank you.
So from the bottom of my heart, this actually has been a dream come true. I also want to give a shout out to Jeremy Crawford. Love you, man. He will return as your dungeon master, have no fear, but he helped me a great deal with this adventure. And most importantly, I could not have done this without my co-writer, Tristan Falcone. Yes. Yes. Risen. And with that, I'm going to hand it off to you, Jerry. All right. Get ready. Alyssa gave me five different things. <laughs> so I don't want to see you move a muscle until I've read oh. this entire sheet. Uh, uh, number one, uh, level up dice. Do you like our fancy, very heavy dice? Uh, yes. Very heavy. Uh, you can secure these dice for your own. Uh, check out the level up dice booth at PAX West and, of course, their site levelupdice.net uh, to get your own luxury dice set. They also have the glyphic dice bags. Do not eat. Uh, they are gemstones. Uh, they are not for the body. Um, Elderwood Academy. Uh, upgrade your tabletop gear with an Elderwood Academy uh, product. Uh, go to elderwoodacademy.com forward slash Inc for 10% off the entire site. God damn it. Uh, and a free commemorative C Team Acorn with coupon code on the screen. That is the screen right there. Enjoy. Uh, number three, Idol Champions. It's Bright Swords in Idol Champions. Enjoy. Uh, this event introduces the swashbuckling pirate Corazon de Belena of the Ox Venturers Guild uh, and brings back uh, Lazops and Turiel. Unlock Strix, Beastinger, uh, and three gold Strix chests using the code on screen. Strix, it's Stri, Zak, Inc, exclamation <laughs> point. Um, four, Wildermyth, actually very cool. Uh, Wildermyth fellows heroes over their whole careers from their pitchfork days to their powerful primes. Uh, and on into old age and memory. It's a party-based procedural storytelling RPG uh, where tactical combat and story decisions will alter your world and reshape your cast of characters, but it's also co-op, which this doesn't say, but that's actually a really cool way to play. Uh, available now on Steam 5, C-Team Better Advice panel. Uh, the C-Team Better Show. Uh, uh, it's back uh, with more in-character life advice. Join us at 1 p.m. Pacific Time Monday in the Horse Theater or on twitch.tv forward slash PAX2. See you then. It's been so good to play for you again.